Some people think the 1960s were simple, but we remember a time when homes had machines that talked, toys used real heat, and a remote didn't need batteries. This wasn't science fiction, it was everyday life. Before smartphones, we had smarter ideas. Let's rewind to the 1960s and rediscover the jaw-dropping tech that would still blow minds today. Number one, push-button living, the automated kitchen. In the early 1960s, RCA Whirlpool promised something out of a sci-fi dream, an automated kitchen controlled by push buttons. With one console, you could plan meals, preheat ovens, or even generate shopping lists. Some demo units even featured a meal computer that suggested recipes based on ingredients you had. It felt like magic, especially in an era when most appliances still had dials and knobs. Though the technology never fully caught on, it sparked imaginations. For a generation raised on the Jetsons, it proved one thing, the future wasn't far away. It was already in the kitchen. Number two, video phones, Bell's futuristic flop. At the 1964 World's Fair, Bell unveiled the picture phone, a device that let you see the person you were talking to in real time. It was groundbreaking and awkward. People weren't ready to be seen while chatting and the high cost made it impractical. Only a few cities ever had it, but looking back now, it's clear. Bell was decades ahead of its time. Today, video calls are second nature. But in 1964, it felt like something out of Star Trek. The technology worked, but society just wasn't quite ready for face-to-face -face on demand. The color is true, her hair so red, her eyes so blue. Number three, color TV, a window to a new world. By the mid-1960s, color television wasn't just a luxury, it was a revelation. Shows like Bonanza and The Wonderful World of Color leapt off the screen, transforming living rooms across America. For families used to black and white, the first time seeing green grass or red dresses on TV felt surreal. Kids would gather around just to watch a peacock unfurl its feathers in full color. And because everyone watched the same few channels, those moments became shared national events. Color TV didn't just change how we saw entertainment, it changed how we saw the world. Number four, the Apollo guidance computer. It's hard to believe, but the computer that helped land men on the moon in 1969 had less power than today's calculators. The Apollo guidance computer ran on just 64 kilobytes of memory, but it was revolutionary. Real-time processing, error correction, and compact design made it a marvel of engineering. Built by hand, wire by wire, it guided astronauts through space with stunning precision. For a generation used to slide rules and analog dials, this was the dawn of digital intelligence. It wasn't flashy, but it worked, and it proved just how far American ingenuity could reach. Number five, pneumatic tube messaging systems. Long before email or text messages, buildings in the 1960s had something faster pneumatic tubes. You'd drop a message or payment into a capsule, pop it into the chute, and whoosh, it flew through the walls using pressurized air. Department stores, hospitals, and banks used them daily. Kids thought it was magic. Adults loved the speed. There was something oddly satisfying about hearing that thunk as the tube arrived. In an age before the digital, this mechanical marvel kept things moving, literally. It was Amazon speed communication with the sound and feel of something real, clunky, and wonderfully human. Number six, the Telstar satellite and instant global TV. When Telstar launched in 1962, it made the impossible real live television from across the ocean. For the first time, Americans watched broadcasts from Europe as they happened. Grainy images of Big Ben or the Eiffel Tower flickered on U.S. screens, and it felt like the world had shrunk overnight. Before Telstar, international video had to be shipped by plane. After Telstar, it flew through space. It wasn't just about TV. It was a glimpse into global connection, 
one tiny satellite spinning above Earth changed how we saw the world and each other forever. Number 7. Space Age Toys with Real Engineering In the 1960s, kids didn't just play, they experimented. Toys like the Vacu Form let you mold plastic using real heat. Creepy crawlers came with hot plates and liquid goop. Chemistry sets included actual acids and sometimes radioactive samples. Parents barely blinked. These weren't just toys, they were tiny science labs that trusted kids to think, tinker, and sometimes burn their fingers. It sounds reckless now, but back then, it felt like freedom. You learned by doing, you made mistakes, and you didn't need a safety warning to know the metal was hot. You touched it once, and you remembered. Number 8. The Home Nuclear Fallout Shelter In the shadow of the Cold War, some American families built nuclear fallout shelters right in their backyards. Blueprints were sold through magazines, and even Sears offered prefab kits. These weren't bunkers for show. They were stocked with canned goods, water drums, crank radios, and even board games to pass the time underground. Kids grew up doing duck and cover drills at school, then helped Dad dig the shelter out back. It was fear turned into action. And while most were never used, the memory of crouching in those concrete rooms never left. It was safety. DIY style, 1960s America. Number 9. Cassette Tapes, Freedom in Your Pocket When the compact cassette arrived in 1963, it quietly changed everything. No more bulky reel-to-reels, just pop in a tape and hit record. Suddenly, kids could make mixtapes straight off the radio, swap music with friends, or record silly voices just for fun. For many, it was their first taste of personal media. The sound wasn't perfect, but it was portable and yours. Road trips had soundtracks, bedrooms became recording studios, and the soft click of play followed by the hiss of tape. That sound meant freedom. It wasn't just about music, it was about control, and control felt good. Number 10, car tech, seat belt buzzers, and retractable antennas. By the mid-1960s, cars started getting smarter in ways that felt futuristic. Ford introduced seat belt buzzers in 1965, an annoying ding that reminded you to buckle up. Cadillac rolled out auto-dimming headlights and even twilight sensors that adjusted lights based on the sun. Some luxury models had antennas that rose when the radio turned on and slid back down when it turned off. These weren't just gimmicks. They made cars feel alive, responsive, even a little bit magical. For drivers used to cranks and knobs, this tech whispered, the future is arriving right there in your driveway. Number 11, IBM Selectric Typewriter, The Typing Revolution. When the IBM Selectric launched in 1961, it transformed office life overnight. Gone were the clunky type bars, replaced by a smooth spinning golf ball that typed faster, quieter, and with incredible precision. You could even change fonts just by swapping the ball. Secretaries, writers, and office clerks fell in love with its rhythm. It sounded like progress, sharp, efficient, unstoppable. For many, the Selectric wasn't just a machine, it was a status symbol. And if you ever worked in an office back then, you remember that click-clack hum. It wasn't just typing, it was the future under your fingertips. Number 12, Polaroid Instant Cameras, Magic in Your Hands. In 1963, the Polaroid Land Camera 100 brought instant photography into everyday life. No more waiting days for film to develop. Just press the shutter, pull the print, and watch the image appear in your hands. It felt like magic. Family gatherings, vacations, birthday parties, all captured and shared within a minute. Kids were amazed. Adults were hooked. You didn't just take a photo. You created a moment everyone could hold. And with that unforgettable peel-apart film, even the smell became part of the memory. Before digital selfies, this was real-time joy, warm, imperfect, and completely unforgettable. Number 13, cordless remote controls, the Space Command. 
1960, Zenith's Space Command remote gave Americans something unheard of, control from the couch. No wires, no batteries, just ultrasonic sound waves that change channels with a click, literally. The remote made a ping that your TV recognized. It was clunky, it was loud, but it worked. Suddenly, you didn't need to yell at the kids to change the station. You ruled the living room with a flick of the finger. In a decade dreaming of moon landings and robot maids, this little gadget made you feel like the future had arrived, right there in your hand. The 1960s weren't behind the times, they were ahead of them. From push-button kitchens to moon landing computers, we didn't wait for the future, we built it. If any of this sparked a memory, share it in the comments. We'd love to hear what you remember and what still blows your mind today.